Hi, everyone. This is Francisco. <clears throat> so, in this video, I just wanted to talk about ideas for those of you who have laser cutters and require sheets of metal. Honestly, I think I should have put like um like plastic as well. Etc. <clears throat> Mainly because I thought of like different ways that Plastic can be recycled. Um, if you guys have the like the machines to cut out the plastic and stuff like that. For instance, like these um, these Clorox containers, um, they have. These lids, well, it has some in there right now, but basically, <clears throat> I cut it right here, and then there's this little area right here that you guys can use to make something out of the, well, out of this, but with a 3D printer, and then you guys can even sell it. Um, if you guys cut this up here and down here, and then down the middle, you guys get one big sheet of plastic. And you guys can also uh, use that to make some projects out of. Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, I have it right here. <clears throat> so let me see. See that? I, I cut it and then I placed it on a flat area and I smashed it down with some weight. And now it's a plastic pa piece of paper, a sheet of uh, plastic. It's not, it's not smooth though, but it was round like that. And it was one of those Clorox things. But now it's just one massive sheet of plastic for those of you who have the laser printers but don't have a lot of money to invest in stuff like this <clears throat> um And then these are some of the lids that I kept. See that? And then there's this one. This one right here um, is flat. It's very smooth. It's really nice. I even I even kept a a sheet of like this material. I don't know if it's metal or not. Let's find out. No, it's not metal because these are magnets, and they're not. It's not getting stuck. But anyways, this is a Heineken talk hand piece of metal um but i just kept it just for the heck of it
Plus, I wouldn't recommend anyone um, I wouldn't recommend anyone cutting the sh um, the aluminum um, cans. Oh, of course, it's aluminum, huh? Anyways, so I wouldn't recommend anyone cutting those because they, they could cut you. All right. <clears throat> Another thing is if you guys have like an old TV. Uh, this this one right here came off of a TV, a flat screen. And look at the look at the metal. That's one massive clean sheet of metal right there and depending on the project you know like there's some that are all distorted and they have a bunch of bumps but if you just need like a little area you just have to grind that off and then you could put it on your 3d printer and it can engrave something or create a circle or whatever it is that you guys want but look at that and something like this would run for a lot of money um so yeah see it came from the tv plus when you guys remove um stuff from the tv you also get other sheets of paper like this wax paper right here Um, there's also this one. This one was the, the actual monitor, but it's nothing but pexiglass. And it's like super transparent. So you guys can still see me, right? Probably. Yeah, right there. Um, ooh, well, this one just broke. Yeah, I don't know if this is glass or not. Uh, but it was shattered right here. So I have to be careful. Um, but yeah, there's this, um, the, I think this is like a special type of paper, like sheet of plastic. And that's how... Um, something Rojas, John Rojas, I think it is, created the solar beam with these, um, with this material here. Uh, basically, you guys can use it as a magnifying glass. Um, but that paper right there is probably worth a lot of money. There's this paper. This material as well inside of the flat screen TVs. And look at this one. A brand new um, piece of plexiglass that also came out of that TV. So if you guys have a 3D printer, look at that. All for free. You guys just have to, re um, you know, remove the, the screws take it apart and you guys will have yourselves a few things to play around with a few materials and sometimes you get lucky the the flat screen tv will have something um like a big sheet of metal like this as well sheet of metal and also before i continue 
if you guys ever see old refrigerators, old dryers, um, old washer machines, you guys can use that metal as well. All right. You know the siding, the lid, all that. It's all, um, it's like basically recycled metal that you guys can use. You guys can take, pick it up off the streets or if someone's giving it away, get it, disassemble everything, uh, make whatever you have to make, and then slowly throw away the, the scrap, right? Or there's a lot of companies that will come and pick up scrap metal. So, you know, just set it to the side call a company or take a picture of it, put it up on the internet, tell someone there's free metal, come pick it up. Someone will go pick it up for free. All right. So there's no rush. You could just leave it there and, um, you know, make some money on the side, selling your little projects, your little cutout templates of whatever you might have. And, um, yeah, like this one right here. I could definitely make a shelf out of it, you know, put some stuff on it, like nothing, like something like this, right? But that's the beauty, that's the beautiful thing about the laser cutters, right? Because you guys can make all sorts of projects and all sorts of things with them. Um, <clears throat> so, but that's only if you guys are like hard timing it and, you know, you just want to print some stuff out, um, you know, you're, you're barely making it and it was hard enough for you to just get the 3d printer and you probably are making payments on it. Um, well, this is a great idea for you type of people, right? I would be in the same boat. That's why I'm creating this video. And um, I know that that's what I would be doing. Um, but check this out. This here is a, um, it's a wine holder. And it holds wine wine bottles but check out check out these um, these cut out uh, little flowers here these uh, leaves I mean these leaves right here these grapes All they did, someone use a um, laser printer, and then someone put this together with metal. They did a really good job. As a matter of fact, my my grandma gave this to my to my mom. We went to pick it up, and I was like, you know what? I like it so much. I'm gonna put it in my room. So that's why it's here. But it doesn't belong to me. It's my mom's. Pretty badass, right? And that even has these tiles on there. This this piece right here is authentic. It's really nice. You know, grapes. Grapes are what makes the the wine. Oh, no, let's go outside. I'm going to have a smoke. So these pieces here are Paxi glass as well, and these came from You know, 
You know how much you know how much something like that would run at the store? It would cost a few bucks. Look at this big old massive piece of plexiglass. So those pieces right here are what is required to build a flat screen TV. Interesting, right? Um, so if you guys come by a flat screen TV, someone's giving, a, someone's giving one away, someone's throwing one away, um, contact the people and Go pick it up, and you won't have to pay a dime for this material. And just cut little pieces that you need that's required for your laser printers, I mean laser cutters. And yeah, like I said, um, any type of metal, like, uh, or plastic, like I, I think I, someone gave me a uh, printer, and the lid was made out of plastic. Um, you know, washers and dryers. Look at all that metal. And depending on the size of. Uh, Depending on the size of the 3D printer that you guys have, I mean the 3D, I mean the 3D printer, the the laser cutter you guys have, um, it, it will probably cut that like nothing. It'll go through that material like nothing. Look at this little table. It's made out of metal. Look at that pattern. Simple, right? I mean, recycling scrap metal and painting it, doing something creative with it, reselling it, sell it, make some money. Like, sure, sure, why not? Sure, why not, Francisco? I was doing the same thing with um, with uh, scrap wood. Um, I had a scroll saw machine, and when someone would throw something away, like furniture, I would pick it up and cut it up, make little little art with it. Um, especially the back side of the cabinets, 
as a thin sheet of particle wood. That one is super easy to work with. Um, and you guys can make all sorts of things with that. Like uh, the stuff back here in these type of cabinets. You guys can probably hear it. That's a cabinet. Um, if you guys are bored or whatever the case may be, that's when you guys can, even plastic like this, see this little lid right here? Look at that. Look at that big sheet of plastic right there. It's nice and smooth, nice and straight. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. Um, anyway, if you guys are bored and you guys just want to play around with, um, making things, that's the way to go. Especially if you're on.